children today we are going to begin chapter 8 ratio and proportion in our day to day life we come across many situations where we compare two quantities of the same kind for example akash weighs 50 kg and his friend anil weighs 75 kg using subtraction the difference in their weights is 75 kg minus 50 kg which is equal to 25 kg so anil is 25 kg heavier than akash we can also compare their weights by division so anil's weight upon akash's weight is equal to 75 upon 50 Here twenty five is the common factor. So twenty five threes are seventy five. Twenty five twos are fifty. So it can be reduced to three upon two. So Anil's weight is three upon two times the weight of Akash. Now the method of comparison by division is known as ratio. ratio is denoted by colon and read as is to in the above example anil's weight is 3 upon 2 times the weight of akash we can also say that the ratio of anil's weight to akash's weight is 3 is to 2 now in the ratio Three is to two. Three is the first term, and two is the second term. First term is also called antecedent, meaning that precedes, and second term is called consequent, meaning that follows. So here, three is the antecedent and two is the consequent. Let us consider more examples. There are ten dogs and five cats in a pet shop. So number of dogs upon number of cats is equal to ten upon five. Here, five is the common factor. So five twos are ten. Five ones are five. So here we get two upon one. So dogs ratio cats is equal to two is to one. So number of dogs is two times the number of cats. Now in the second example, there are five red balls and four yellow balls. Now number of red balls. upon number of yellow balls is equal to 5 upon 4 so red balls ratio yellow balls is equal to 5 is to 4 so number of red balls are 5 upon 4 times the number of yellow balls now let us take one more example cost of jeans is rupees 4500 and cost of shirt is rupees 1500 so cost of jeans upon cost of shirt is equal to 4500 upon 1500 cancel out zeros with zeros 15 threes are 45 15 ones are 15 so it can be reduced to 3 upon 1 so cost of jeans ratio cost of shirt is equal to 3 is to 1 so cost of jeans is 3 times the cost of shirt thus expressing the quantity as how many times the other quantity is called ratio and children comparison by division makes much better sense than comparison by taking difference now let's understand difference between fraction and ratio fraction represents a part of whole so 1 upon 4 shows one part of sandwich out of four equal parts of sandwich 
so it represents a single number ratio is used to compare two quantities so here we have taken one as sandwich and four brownies so here one upon four represents two different things and it shows the relation that for every sandwich there are four brownies in fraction denominator always shows total number of parts and in ratio consequent may or may not be equal to total quantity now children here are some important points to remember in a ratio a ratio b a is called the antecedent and b is called the consequent the order of the terms in a ratio is very important so a ratio b is not equal to b ratio a a ratio is always expressed in its simplest form so if there is any common factor between antecedent and consequent we have to cancel out ratio has no units it is just a number two quantities of same kind can be compared only if they are in the same unit and children if they are not they should be expressed in the same unit before the ratio is taken so it will become clear from the following examples now here we have to find out the ratio of 5 days to 5 weeks here we have days and then we have weeks so we need to convert weeks into days and we know one week is equal to seven days so five weeks is equal to five into seven days which is equal to 35 days so here we have to find out the ratio of five days to 35 days now it can be written as a division 5 upon 35 here 5 is the common factor 5 ones are 5 5 seven are 35 so we get 1 upon 7 which can be expressed as 1 is to 7 now in the second part we have to find out the ratio of 1250 milliliters to 2 liters so here again the units are not same first we have milliliters and then we have liters so let us convert liters into milliliters and 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters so 2 liter is equal to 2000 milliliters so we have to find out the ratio of 1250 ml to 2000 ml so it can be written as a division so 1250 upon 2000 cancel out 0 with 0 now here 25 fives are 125 and 25 eights are 200 so it can be reduced to 5 upon 8 and it can be expressed as 5 is to 8 let's do one more now here we have to find out the ratio of 20 minutes to 180 seconds so again we have to convert minutes into seconds and we know 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds so 20 minutes is equal to 20 into 60 seconds to 180 seconds so here we get 1200 seconds to 180 seconds now it can be written as a division equals to 1200 upon 180 now 0 will get cancelled with 0 now 6 20s are 120 and 6 3s are 80 so we get 20 upon 3 and it can be expressed as 20 is to 3 so children I hope the concept of ratio is clear to you now for worksheet questions 